Hey girl, give me one second. We're gonna play around with a whole bunch of new stuff. All right, so let's talk about it. How are you guys? Como están mis amores? Ay, Jesu. Okay, so I washed my hair. Y'all know a hurricane is coming. I know it's not gonna hit us like directly in the center, but it's still coming. And I just would rather be prepared and be good, you know what I mean? So we have been moving all our patio furniture, getting it out of the way, but I still want to work because if not, if I don't get any work done today, then I get really paranoid and jittery and all that stuff. And in the middle of everything that's going on, which I know we're going to be fine, I'm going to make a carrot cake cheesecake. I know. It's going to be carrot cake with a layer of cheesecake in between. No, on top. It'll be made. It's kind of like a carrot cake and a cheesecake sandwich. It's going to be cheesecake, carrot cake, cheesecake. I've never made it before, but I want to. Anyway, so let's dive on in. We're going to play around with a few products. I was going to do like a fully dedicated Tri Beauty box try on for the box that they sent over my way, but they sent it over pretty, pretty late. So we're gonna mumble jumble that along with other items that I know you guys wanted to see. The Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. I still haven't played around with her because it's kind of like a lot of these boxes are showing up late. So I get to a point where I don't even know if they're coming or not, you know? So what am I gonna do? I am gonna prep the skin. I wanna start off, my skin is clean by the way, okay? I am gonna pull my hair back like this. I could put the clips, but I don't want any ridges in my hair right now because I just straightened it. So I'm gonna use the $125 doll hair eye cream. This is the Symbiosis, Symbiosis, Symbiosis London Probiotic Retinoid. It is an eye contour. Let me zoom you guys in. All right, so basically, um, the storm is coming. Oh, that's a lot. I'll just, I'll just, it's $125 apparently. So I will use it sparingly. Um, the storm is coming. I am fairly close to, like I'm in between Miami and Orlando, right? So Miami got lucky because Miami is like pretty far from Orlando. So they'll be okay in the sense of they're still gonna feel the bands, but they should be all right. I, on the other hand, am literally like an hour and 20 minutes from Orlando and the center is gonna go directly like over Orlando at some point. I believe they're saying it's Thursday. So technically speaking, I'm gonna feel a lot of the band, band, it's kind of like music, band, there I go. Um, anyway, band music in my head, it's just, I always try to make light of a situation, but I am gonna end up feeling uh, a good amount of it. I won't get the worst end apparently, but I am gonna feel a good amount of it. So I needed to prepare. I told you guys in the most recent video that, not the most recent, like two days ago, I was telling you guys how, yes, we're already prepared. We have everything that we need. I'm gonna use this foundation because it's what, what's in front of me and I don't want a lot of coverage because I just want to play around with makeup and kind of like get my mind off of, you know, everything else that I have to do for today. But we did prepare and stuff and then one and I were talking about it and we said, listen, you know, you guys have seen my backyard. If you haven't, go check out the vlog channel. I show the backyard a fair amount of times there. He says, look, we have a lot of stuff here. We can choose to kind of move it and store it and just prepare in case, worst case scenario, or leave it here. But if we leave it here and the wind blows, it can break the lanai. Breaking the lanai means access to the pool and any debris that's flying can end up in our pool. So we decided to just rearrange the furniture, move it out of the way. So my backyard literally looks like when we just bought it. It is empty, it is a lanai with a pool. And then I did post on Instagram how we took our furniture, like our patio furniture and threw it all in the pool. So. That's where we are. My car will be parked inside the garage and Juan's pickup truck will be readily available. But I wanna use the concealers. They sent me two. They're really awesome because they sent me backups of stuff and then they sent me two concealers. This one is way too light for me. So I'll go with this one. I'm hoping this one works. It's the 7.5 medium. It's not like spot on my color, but you guys know I absolutely love going lighter under my eyes. So this is going to do it. Yeah, that's a perfect color for me. So again, this is 7.5 medium, and this is a cute wand. It is the wand we all are familiar with. So I'm gonna take this formula, and I'm gonna drag it about halfway. I've never tried this again. I was holding off on playing around with this so that I can show you guys in person. Not in person, but you know what I mean, like live, like real first impressions. So I am gonna apply her the way I would normally apply my concealer and we will see how she goes the packaging is 
really pretty though, so I like that. I'm gonna take my spongy spongy and I'm gonna do one of these. So I am gonna grab a bag. I'm gonna put some snacks in there, like a big duffel bag. Maybe like a change of clothes or two for each of us. And then any paperwork that's important, imperative that we were to have in the event that we needed to get out. I don't expect us to have to get out, but you never know. So I'd rather be prepared than not. So. Um, other than that, I think I'm good. If you guys haven't seen the vlog that went up yesterday, the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday, that vlog specifically was like playing catch up and stuff about stuff that was happening and just life in general prior to Cam's injury. And I did um, this like TikTok prank on my brother-in-law and so many of you guys like thought it was so fun. It was so fun, okay? It was so fun. So we did that. That's in that vlog that went up on Monday. And then yesterday's vlog contained like the story on how like Cam fell and you know, I show you guys Cam at the hospital and all that jazz. So if you haven't checked out the vlog channel, I highly recommend you do. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes. So I'm gonna set this. Personally, I like that it looks radiant even though I have already set it. The powder is the Jaclyn Hill powder, which I've been obsessed with. I put away my Givenchy for this powder, okay? And I'll say it's it brightened. Can you guys see how good that looks under the eye? I love it. It still looks... And this powder is amazing, okay? And it covers fairly well and it sets beautifully. But I like, I like that my under eyes still look radiant. I don't know how it's gonna wear. So I'm not telling you it's absolutely amazing. You need to buy, like run out and buy it. But I am saying so far, just by the looks of it, like in person, se ve super bonito. I really, really like it. Okay, what am I gonna do next? I don't have a new bronzer. So where are you? Uh, you were right in front of me. I'm gonna use the NARS because y'all know I really, really like cream product on the skin. So yeah, and right about now, you guys are watching this video, right about now is when we're having, cause you know, I'm pre-filming this here. I, we're having that storm kind of like come by. This is a Wednesday video. So I'll say, I don't know exactly what is going on. So of course I am pre-filming that way in the event that I have no internet access to upload or anything like that, my videos are pretty much set to go and I can, sit down and watch TV with my girls and all of that. And yes, TV, I know a lot of people are saying, well, if you don't have power, but the thing is, I, I'm still confused, right? Because I understand that there's a lot of people here in Florida and this is just like, I'm trying to understand in general. And, and this is not me trying to be funny. I'm dead serious. I'm trying to understand it because when I hear people say like, oh, well, be ready for no electricity, be ready for X, Y, and Z. I'm like, because I picked up gas. I don't know how a generator works per se, so I can't say, which is why I'm asking, because I'm still confused. You know what, let's get into the cheeks. I am gonna use the beautiful palette I got from Base Blue. Now you can use this for the cheeks, you can use this for the eyes. Is she not stunning? I've had my eye on two colors, so I feel like I wanna mix them, this one and this one. Yeah, I wanna see what this is gonna look like. And then I'll create a tutorial. Ooh, that's pigmented, girlfriend. Mm -mm. And then I'll create like a tutorial on the eyes specifically with these as eyeshadows but I, I was curious so i wanted to see what it looked like on the cheeks this like lavender pink color has um shimmer to it and it's uh very very fine so it doesn't even look like glitters and it looks good on the skin i like that then i have the micro filling brow pen by benefit cosmetics they sent it over this is the deep brown shade and if you're new to the channel please make sure you are subscribed the subscribe button is right down here all you have to do is click on it and that automatically subscribes you right next to it you're gonna see a notification bell do me a favor hit that notification bell selecting all notifications that way youtube lets you know every single time i upload a brand new video and or provide a new update over on my community page and while you're at it, if you can do me a favor and hit that like button. Hitting the like button basically lets YouTube know I really like her content, I like her personality, and you should push this channel and kind of like feature it on the feeds for other people who have the same interests as I do. That really helps my channel kind of grow and our community here on the Daddy G channel grow as a whole. Believe it or not, it's a really good community to be a part of because whenever I feature, like I premiere my videos here on the channel, which I try to do it several times out of the week. I do post six days out of the week, by the way. But out of the six days, I try to at least premiere five days out of the week. And it's great how everyone kind of 
chimes in in the comment section and we kind of get used to who everyone is and everyone's asking about each other's kids and their day and their dinner and also it's a fun time okay it's a fun time let me show you guys the pen this is what the pen looky like all right and cam is in the building so when i said so so if you see her walking around just know she's here she's here okay um so in essence this is supposed to create like little brow hair strokes like brow like strokes on your brows let's see i don't know i've tried another one by a different brand i didn't like it you guys already know i have pretty sparse brows so let's see i'm more of a pomade and pencil kind of girl the shade deep brown is definitely like on point for my brows so that's a good thing it's filling in the front part of my brow y'all know i'm like always missing hair there it's definitely filling it out and making it look like i have hairs even though i don't but this is the part that I, i'm questioning let's see so it definitely gives a really nice hue to the brow as in it's really filling it in as you can see like there's definitely a difference on one brow versus the other i'm gonna tell you though i want to let it dry for a second and see whether or not once it dries it kind of builds up so right about now it adds that little bit of a shadow that i mean i can use on a day-to-day -day basis so that my brows look more polished and filled in and it's like pretty effortless so i'm gonna let this dry i'm gonna work on the other one really quickly and we'll come back to this brow and see whether or not it builds what would make this product really unique is if this was more like a lip stain but for the brow right this would be the perfect color the perfect tone and all you really needed to do was brush it on leave it alone at the end of the day or the night when you wash off your makeup your brow is still intact for a few days would that not be amazing i think it would be for sure by the way if anyone comes up with that you heard it here first all right i mean it builds it just it doesn't get any darker so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna clean the edges of my brows like i always do i kind of want to see what that's gonna look like it's definitely not gonna make it look as though you had a pomade or a pencil but if you have really thick full brows and you just have mini sparse areas this would be amazing all right now take a really good look at the brow now that i've cleaned it up and shaped it over here are the areas where i mean here looks amazing because that's kind of like the vibe that i go for natural very natural like at the beginning portion of the brow but then back here we still looking a little bald mama i'm just gonna use my um what is this my rare beauty little it's kind of like a cream wax but it's not a cream wax i'm gonna mix these two together and fill in those areas it's not a lot of filling in that i need to do which is awesome so i feel like for me these two together would like do the trick perfectly the brows are as good as they're gonna get so let's move on in to the eyeshadow i'm gonna use the b bella uh, lotus love palette and for sure i want to try the batter up pencil this is an outfield by the balm cosmetics i'm gonna use this uh, it's not even a it's just an eyeshadow stick right but you can also use it as a base so that's what we're gonna do so i am gonna use this all over the lid any eyeshadow brush would work. What happened, mamacita? Mm -hmm. Oh God, I forgot how deep this was. I wasn't planning on going smoky today, but I guess we are. I'm gonna take that same brush and kind of blend that edge out. And with no additional product, I'm gonna drag whatever's left on the bottom portion of the eye. Wow, that's pigmented. <laughs> Check this out. That's like not even that much, right? I'm gonna blend this all in and blend the crease out. Diffuse it a little bit. And then with no additional product again, drag whatever is on the brush at the bottom. I'm gonna go back in just on the outer edge. I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna pull up. Almost like I'm trying to create a wing when I'm not. Just by looking at it, I think I wanna dip into the shade Royalty, which is like this deepest purple here with the same brush. And I'm gonna tap out and then I'm gonna tap Royalty right on top of that darker shade. And I'm not blending yet, I'm just kind of like tapping. Same thing, no additional product. I definitely wanna do one of these and drag some of that purple on the bottom portion of the eye. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna go in to a lighter purple. I'm gonna go into Rebirth with a big fluffy brush. Tap out and I'm gonna go along those edges cause I really wanna diffuse that. I want there to be a very pretty simple gradient. We don't go in with the purple because the purple can make it really messy and muddy looking. And so you want to go with a shade lighter that'll work with the color story that you're using and adding some more powder or like an eyeshadow to a fresh brush will go ahead and create a more seamless blend. 
And don't be afraid to come out here and drag a little bit. It's definitely gonna create a beautiful, like diffused look. And then same thing to the lower portion. And no worries, you do not have to be like strategic and organized when you're like working on the bottom portion of the eyes. Sometimes the messier, the better. Just don't be too rough because obviously wrinkles. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and apply like a liner, mascara, and lashes so that you can see what this would look like in the end and then I'll finish this eye. All right, and those are the eyes. Are they not cute? Now you can totally take it to a whole nother level if you feel like this is not enough color and you want another pop of color. You could totally dip into Water Lily, which is this beautiful green. I'm gonna do a little bit. See how crazy pigmented that is? And you can just tap that on the center of the eye for a little something something. See what I'm saying? It's really pretty. I would definitely go with like just the matte purple, but you know, I'm giving options here. All right, there we go. Those are the eyes. Now for the lips, I don't have like anything particularly new. And with the eyes, the eyes are already dramatic as it is. So I'm gonna go in with a combo that I've been really enjoying. It's the Basic Beauty Lip Liner in Coco along with Stretch. It is a Flexi Slick by Ofra Cosmeticos. So I'm gonna like line my lips. And then I'm just gonna tap a little bit of Stretch on the center and kind of pat my lips. It blends on its own. And you can definitely go with a pinky version of this. They do have several colors. It's just, I'm more of a nudie nudie kind of person. I'm gonna go ahead with no additional product on my powder puff. I'm going to kind of like blend under the eye so I get that like flawless under eye snatched effect. And there we have it. Now, if you do want a more brightening under eye girl, I got you. Take your little powder puff and go in with a lighter shade along with this peachy. If you're like my complexion, if not, you're good with just a lighter shade. And kind of glide that directly under the eye. It's gonna give you like that snatched red carpet effect with minimal effort. The one thing about that trick though is that you will need to use a concealer that's gonna give you beautiful coverage and not look super heavy. Otherwise, it will crease under your eyes. I wanted to put the Charlotte Tilbury concealer to the test and it definitely gives you that beautiful skin effect. So I'm not mad at her. I am gonna do a whole nother video cause I want to kind of use these two together and see what that looks like. Can we just say how I'm like snatched and ready to go, but I'm going nowhere cause there's a hurricane coming like overnight. Either way, it doesn't go to waste because I'm digging her and you guys get to see how I put this look together. Did you get the Tribe Beauty Box? Have you tried this palette? Are you looking forward to snagging any of the products I'd featured today, i.e. the concealer, the brow product, the lippies? And what did you guys think about this palette? Is she not pretty? I was able to create a custom blush that had highlight in it and it's so cute. Make sure you give me your feedback down below. I hope you were commenting as we went. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.